Hey guys, and welcome to the Farming Pastor's Wife. Tonight, we're making an orange sliced cake. And y'all, it was almost an epic fail, but I've salvaged it somewhat. And so you'll have to watch to the end of the video. But it turned out, and y'all, I have never liked this cake before, but I actually like it. You'll hear the story about, and before, and I videoed it before I knew if I liked it or not. So most of the time I'm talking about how I don't like it. But um, I've tasted it now and I really like it. So stay tuned. We are making orange slice cake. Okay, guys. So we are going to make the orange slice cake. So we are remodeling, so you may see people walk in and out like Isaac. <laughs> he has nothing to do with the remodel. <laughs> He's just walking in and out. But let me go over the things that you're going to need. You're going to need a two pan. I almost made this in my bunt pan, but I think I'm going to make it in this. So... We're going to set that aside for right now. The first thing I'm going to do is preheat the oven to 250. That is 250, not 350. So let's preheat our oven to 250. And then I'll go over the other ingredients with you, okay? I've got in this bowl three and a half cups of flour, and I've mixed in with it a teaspoon of baking soda. I've got in here two cups of sugar two cups of sugar i had to look make sure that was right um a half a cup of buttermilk two sticks of butter or one cup of butter four eggs i've got two cups of chopped nuts here you're gonna need a cup of coconut and I had planned on using frozen coconut, but I have not thawed it. And um, so I'm just going to use um, the bag coconut. It'll be just as good. Oh, somebody's been in it. And I just about flung it everywhere. Okay. So a cup of coconut. Um, you're also going to need some of the orange sliced candies. You're going to need, um, let's see, I think it is a pound. And these two bags are seven ounces each, so they're just shy of a pound. So I bought a third bag that I'll take two or three of the candies out of and add to this. Um, and you're also going to need eight ounces or a half a pound of dates. These dates have a coating, like a sugar type coating on them. I don't think that's the type I'm supposed to use, but that's what I could find. That's the only thing I could find, so that's what we're using. And they're already chopped. So... With that being said, we'll get started putting this together. The first thing I'm going to do is I am going to cut up these orange slices. And we're going to add in a little flour just to coat them. Because they don't sink to the bottom that way if you coat them with flour. So I'm going to chop these up probably into three pieces each. And put them in a bowl. And we'll coat them with flour. Let me get everything ready. And while we're cutting these up, I'm going to share a story with you about the orange slice cake. It's kind of humorous. So hang tight and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I have sat everything over to the side and I'm just going to take these orange slices and I think I'm just going to cut them into three pieces like that and we'll put them in a bowl. So let me show you again. I'm just kind of cutting them into three little triangles, I guess you could say. And I'm going to keep doing that. So while I'm doing that, let me tell you the story about the orange slice cake. One of you guys asked for this recipe. And when um, the question came in, did I have an orange slice cake recipe, I had to kind of laugh. Because I did not have a recipe, but Bryant's grandma was like the queen of orange slice cake. Everybody talked about Mall Mall's orange slice cake. I mean, people in the community loved her orange slice cake. Well, when I started dating Bryant, we went over there and everybody's like, oh, Mall Mall makes the best orange slice cake. 
and you've got to try it. And so I was really kind of excited because who doesn't like these candies? I mean, really, they're good. And so I was like, this orange slice cake has got to be delicious. So we go over there. Everybody's still talking. Everybody's sitting around. People in the community are at their house sitting around eating this orange slice cake and just going on and on how delicious it was and oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I said, I've never had orange slice cake. So I was so excited to try this orange slice cake. So they cut me a slice and I tasted it. I was not a fan. It was not good. And everybody around me is ooing and on over this orange slice cake. And I had to sit there and be nice because um, I would be nice. I mean, I just do that. But I couldn't finish it because I did not like it. And so the consensus of this story is Mama makes a delicious orange slice cake. But Leslie does not like orange slice cake. <laughs> so, when one of you asked me for that recipe, I was like, okay, who's going to taste this thing? Because I don't like them. It's very similar to a baked fruit cake, I think. And I don't like baked fruit cakes either. I love icebox fruit cakes. But I don't like baked fruit cakes. So, anyway. Um... <laughs> I was like, who's going to taste this? Well, Bryant will taste it. I, sh he, I mean, that's his mama it was the queen of orange slice cake. But I really couldn't remember if Bryant liked orange slice cake. So I asked him, I said, Bryant, I said, when I make this on YouTube, you're going to have to taste it because you know I don't like orange slice cake. He says, Leslie, I'm not a fan of orange slice cake either. I said, well, I said, what we'll do is you know that Mama makes great orange slice cake because that's what everybody says. Everybody who likes orange slice cake says Mama's was the best. I said, so you're just going to have to taste it and say, yes, it does taste like Mama's or no, it doesn't. <laughs> so, whoever, whichever one of you asks for orange slice cake, this is for you. This is for you. So, all right, I've gotten one bag of orange slices cut up. I'm going to start on the second one, and I'll bring you back in just a second. Okay, guys, so here they are, all chopped up. The second bag, what I did on the second bag was I did them in fourths instead of thirds, so that you're going to have some bigger pieces and some smaller pieces, but still a good-sized piece of orange slice. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sprinkle about a third of a cup to a half of a cup of flour in there over them and that's just going to coat them and keep them from sinking to the bottom of the cake mixture all right so let me set that aside i'm also going to add in here while i'm doing it i'm also going to add in the dates because i'm just going to add them all at one time And like I said, I'm not sure that's the right kind of dates to use, but that's what we're going with. Okay, so that is ready. So, I'm sure you guys are wondering, if neither one of us like this cake, who are we giving this cake to? Well, I don't know if you remember the episode of the No Bake Cookies with Jessica, but her grandma just had breast cancer, and um, they did surgery to remove it. Well found out she likes orange slice cake. So she's gonna be getting this orange slice cake. Of course, we're gonna taste it because I'm gonna see if my taste buds have changed and I like them. But that's who we're gonna give for her recovery. We're gonna give this orange slice cake to her. So let's go to the mixer. I'm gonna put my two sticks of butter in and my sugar and let them beat for just a minute. Okay, I've got my two sticks of butter in there, and I'm just going to turn that on. I'm going to add in my sugar. Okay, 
we're gonna let that cream up real good for just a few minutes. We're gonna add our eggs one at a time. Okay guys, I'm going to take just a minute and scrape down the sides. And I always like to kind of go down to the bottom to make sure I've gotten it. Okay, so now we're going to add in the flour alternately with the buttermilk. We'll do a little bit of each. We're going to let that beat just a second. Okay guys, I'm going to go ahead and put in a little drizzle of vanilla. We'll get that going just real quick. There we go. And then I'm going to add in a cup of coconut. I'm going to go ahead and, let's see, I don't, I may fold those in. I tell you what, let's take this over and we're going to fold these in, okay? Okay, guys, I'm going to take some of this candy. And I've got a slotted spoon because I'm kind of thinking I don't want all that flour. If I can keep some of that loose flour from going in there. But the dates are so fine, it may have, we may have to just, um mix them up anyway. Bright's eating orange candies. Y'all, we are so excited about this bathroom remodel. We can't hardly stand it. Okay, so let me give this a stir. And I just want to stir all this up together. And I may have to get Muscle Man in here to help me. You know, the batter looks delicious. And I still got to add in the nuts. I got just a few more candies and dates here. I think that one reason I don't like this cake very well is because I'm not a fan of dates. So, that may be part of my problem. 
All right, guys, I'm going in with the pecans, the two cups of pecans. There we go. I'm going to mix this up, and I'll bring you right back. Okay, guys, I have it all mixed up here best I can. I was going to use Bryant, but he is busy helping with the bathroom remodel, and we don't want to disturb that. So I'm just going to go in with this batter. This is the best way I can think to do it because I'm not strong enough to hold this big bowl. I'm just going to get it in here and then we'll pat it down everywhere. Now, at the end, once it bakes, there's two more ingredients we're going to need. We're going to need some orange juice and some powdered sugar. Pretty much to the end here. Let me get a plastic spatula. Trade it out for this silicone spoon. See if I can get some more out. Sorry guys if you hear the noise. That's um uh, that's my bathroom getting. I'm so excited, y'all. I cannot wait to show you the, the finished product. It is going to be so beautiful compared to what I had. It's just going to be gorgeous. I love it. Okay, guys. You see, I'm just smoothing it out. And I'm going to bang it. So, just to get any of those air holes that I may have left in there. We got those out. I want to get it as smooth as I can and even as I can. And I'm, I did not grease it and flour it like old timey way. I did it with the spray and I was about out of the spray. So I hope that doesn't come back to bite me. But it's just easier than greasing it and flouring it. So hopefully it will work out. Now we're going in a 250 degree oven and it's going to bake for an hour and a half. An hour and a half at no. Back up, beep, 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 beep. Back up, not an hour and a half, two and a half hours. Two and a half hours at 250. This is a slow roast cake, <laughs> slow bake cake. So, um, I'm just getting the last little bit out. So it will bake for two and a half hours. And then we will get it out and Brian can taste it. Because I'm not. <laughs> no, I will taste it because I'm just not sure if my, my taste buds may have changed over the years. You know they do that, right? You know they do that. So I will taste it. I will taste it. Okay, it's going in 250. Okay, guys, it's in. Okay. We have 59 seconds left. So while that's counting down, we've got two cups of powdered sugar in here. And I've got a cup of orange juice that I'm gonna mix in this powdered sugar. So two cups of powdered sugar and a cup of orange juice. And it's gonna be a liquid. I mean, it's not, it's not gonna be an icing. It is a liquid, but it's a sweet liquid. So, as soon as I get the cake out, we are going to just kind of pour this all over the cake. And we're going to let it sit until Bryant gets home from his board meeting tonight. Technically, you're supposed to let it sit all night long, overnight. But who can wait that long? So, we are going to get it out. And... It is ready. Okay.
Y'all, it smells so good. Maybe I do like this cake. We'll see. You probably already know if I like it or not because, anyway, if I open the video with me tasting it, I don't know. We'll see. But I'm debating on should I poke holes in it. But I think I'm just going. I think I'm just going to pour a little bit on at a time. Let it soak in. Come back and pour some more. Bryant said, Mama always just put orange juice on it. Well, this is why he thought it was orange juice, because it looks like orange juice. Just going round and round. Can you guys see what I'm doing? And I may take a brush. All right, I'm going to let that sit for a little bit. Soak in. Looks like I may need to... Uh, raise this side my house is not level y'all ask me how i know we're finding out with the um <laughs> remodel that i don't have a level house there we go all right let me just show you what i'm gonna do i'm gonna get this silicone brush and i'm just gonna sweep it on around let it get soaked in really good and then we'll pour the rest of it let that soak in. And then when Bryant gets home from his board meeting, we'll be ready to taste. So I'm gonna let this sit for just a little bit, do the same thing again with the rest of the glaze, and um, then we will unbox it. <laughs> Uncake tube it. <laughs> All right, we'll be back in just a little bit. Okay guys, so I may have committed an epic fail. I did not follow a rookie rule. And this is the rule that when you are baking a cake, especially one that you are unfamiliar with, always check when you get the cake out of the oven, always check to make sure it's done. Always make sure it's done. I got this cake out, it looked beautiful. I didn't even check it. I didn't check it. I poured the glaze over it, and then it was shortly after that that um, I, I came in here, and it had sunk down just a little bit, enough to make me check and see what the deal was. So, always check your cakes. Now, I have turned it out. I'll let you see what it looks like. I've turned it out. I started cutting it because I can't hardly stand it. I want to check it so bad. Um, but it is not, um, it's not cool enough to cut yet. So we're just going to wait, give it a little bit. Maybe when Bryant comes home, we'll check it. It's nine o'clock at night and we're just now getting supper ready to eat. So I'll bring you back as soon as he gets home and we'll cut it and test it. Okay guys, it's a moment of truth. I think it's cooled down enough where I can try to cut it and we'll see if it was an epic fail or not. Bryant does not even know my failure yet. Hey guys, she had a failure? Yes. I haven't been here, I've been at a board meeting at church. Let's turn the camera up. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but her channel this week has been on fire. I mean, she's picked up like 200, subs I mean 2,000 subscribers this week. One of her old videos. Um, oh, like last year or last a year, year before. It's called uh, Brickle, Brickle, which she did at Christmas last year. Um, that video has totally just took off. And that thing is still warm. Yeah, no. Is that part of the fail? No. What, that it's still warm? Yeah. No. What's part of the fail? Belly. Now, my grandma used to make this cake when I was young. 
And yeah. all I want to hear, neither one of us care for this cake. Yeah, I was not a big fan. But I can tell you that that Peppa. orange that orange juice you, you guys said you Judith's wanting to talk to Peppa. Um that orange juice makes this cake so mm. moist. Mm. And believe it or not, dee, 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 dee. it's better as an adult than it was a kid. Dee, 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 dee. <laughs> Maybe I should try it again. Have you tried it? No. Um That's really good. My my fail is not that we sound surprised. <laughs> We just didn't like this cake. My fail is I forgot to check it to see if it was done. Like I forgot to stick it and so it's a little soft. Soft. Actually not bad. It's good. It is good. It's actually this, pretty good. This little monkey keeps trying to look at her. What's he been eating? Ranch dressing. <laughs> Say hey everybody. Hey everybody. Say the farming. Pastor's Butters. wife. Wife. Uh, say hit subscribe. Stop. Hit the bell button. Hit the button. Give us a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Uh, and leave us a comment. Leave a comment. All right, buddy. Say hey, wait, wait. Say Merry Christmas. Say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. So just be sure to check, make sure it's done before you like pull the trigger. Fully take it out of the oven. I did salvage it a little bit. I did put it back in the oven for a little bit. But I, it had been out for so long there was hardly any going back. So, it's actually not bad. That's a good thing. It is. <laughs> He's so is it better than Momo's? I'd say it is. <laughs> and that's hard to do is beat it's my Momo. It's better than Momo's. You did something different. That's a good thing. Woohoo! Yeah, you did something different. Maybe like not getting it done is a good thing. No, it was almost done. It's just extremely soft inside. So we'll see. Anyway, y'all enjoy this orange slice cake. Oh, you now? need a cup of coffee. Oh, you didn't say milk. Mm -mm. Cup of coffee. <laughs> and you can leave the coconut out if you don't like coconut. Um, and you probably, instead of dates, could put raisins. Um... And I probably should have because I'm not a date fan. That's perfect. But it's really good. It's really good. And um, really anyway, good. now that my pan is empty, I can get on to my ice box for cake. So that's what we're going to do next. Thank you guys for watching The Farming Pastor's Wife. And remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.